If you've been following us here on YouTube or on Facebook, we've been showing some practical applications of Aikido, and we've been taking that and showing the basics. Uh, a few videos ago, we showed uh, basics of Ikkyo, we showed Nikkyo, and uh, Sankyo will be airing here soon on YouTube. But what we're gonna show tonight, or in this episode of the Iwama Warriors, is a practical application of it. Now there's always the what if, we're gonna try to attack some of those tonight with practical Sankyo from a few different grabs or follow up with that second punch coming. So the first one we're going to talk about is grabbing the chest, Mune Dori. Now, most of the time when somebody's going to grab you here, depending on the situation, they might be like, hey, I want you to comply. All right. Again, don't put your hands up here. If you put your hands up here, there's nothing you can really do about it because it's going to take me a lot longer to get my hands down there than if they're in front of my center or for some of you, your workspace right in front. I can control the situation more. As he's grabbing here, even if I'm wearing a regular shirt, uh, which we're going to do a few videos dressing street clothes so we show how grabs are going to look. This is a great pivot point for me. I can turn my body however I want to, right? If I turn this way, right, that can break his grip. If he has a really strong grip, <clears throat> I got two hands here, I can grab this elbow. Bring this out in front of me, right? Get this out in front, especially if they're bigger than you. You want to create distance, but I can get him up. I can get control that, right? I can come in here, I can... Attend me right towards his face, give me this Sankyo. Same height, all right, I'm gonna keep this right in front of here. If he's bigger than me, I wanna keep this out away from my body. He's not moving because it's ballroom dancing and we're doing the two step, no. He's moving because there's pain compliance here. So I'm gonna back off a little bit. If he's bigger than me, I wanna create distance. Notice I trap his thumb. If I don't, all right, he can, he can snap my thumb right there, all right, unless, Unless you have a high threshold for pain or, you know, you don't mind breaking something, that, that's really going to slow you down. So, again, he grabs Mune Dori, grabbing the chest, right? Great pivot point, right? I can come in here and I can strike right towards his face. I can grab that second hand if I want to, but if I want to get this hand, right, break that grip, right? Get a finger lock going on there. Drop this right in front again. Different approach to it of how I want him to move. Then I can take that to a pin, I can take that to a throw, all right, immediate compliance here. I can drop it down, and I can go into an arena nagi if I wanted to. Most times I'm not gonna get that far. I got him off of me. You always gotta think, you know, what's, what else could happen, all right? So, <clears throat> again, grabbing the chest, Mune Dori, right? Now, depending on the situation again, he might start pulling me in towards him. He pulls me in towards him, I want to have my hands in front of my face. Even if his punch that follows through is stronger than what I'm blocking, it's still going to slow it down. It's not going to be a full on blow to my face as if I'm here, he got me right in the face. This way, my hands in front of my center, I can slow that down enough and possibly, you know, get another finger lock there, causing pain compliance again to my partner or the attacker. <clears throat> so again, He's pulling me in, keeping this in front of my center, that I can slow his momentum. I can come in here, nice little elbow shot to his face right there, right to the jaw. Most people have a glass jaw, right? Break that grip right there, he let go with that hand. I have this right here, right? I can come in again, I can get a nice little sunk heel out here, away from him, right? And I can drop that straight down, right? Pressing on that elbow. Bring those fingers back. Keep a sankyo. Taking that wrist the opposite way. And again, if I'm here, he can grab my thumb. Even on the ground, it's not over. He can break my thumb. And I'm trying to avoid getting a broken thumb or being taken to the ground. <clears throat> so again, he, he grabs, he pulls me in immediately. I gotta get my hands up. 
I can get that nice little shot right there. And he's pulling me in, get that shot right there and I can get underneath. Even with his fingers closed, if you can get that, Jeff. Yep. It's causing more pain to him. Even with the fingers closed. And then I can wrap this around. Sonky about here, right? And then I can do whatever I want to. I can pull that down, come in with a shot with the elbow, wrap around here, submit my partner right here. I am keeping it loose, but I could. All right, and if he continues to fight, I can bring this back again, take that elbow against my body, bring this out and do a UB Dory. All right, and then if I really want to finish, I can cinch that in there, drop him, or I can follow through. Drop them out right there, and you can follow that up with any strike that you want. <clears throat> All dependent on the situation. Again, he's grabbing the chest of Mune Dory. He's grabbing. Right? Now, the situation is he wants to follow up straight with that punch. You know, you don't you could try to read them, you're never gonna know what exactly is gonna happen. I'm gonna get out of the way of that punch. Right? If I turn this way, he's got me right in the side of the face. All right. Also, there's a kick there. If they're a trained fighter, you know, nobody walks around saying, hey, I'm a tra trained fighter. You can go to Walmart and buy a shirt that says MMA. It's not hard to do. doesn't mean they know what they're doing. All right? But I'm, you know, being aware, I don't want to get punched. I'm getting out of that way, right? He can follow through with that second punch. Right? Again, I got that elbow. Right? Bring us out. Nice little UB Dory. Right? Bring that up, come back through. Right. If he's about my height, I'm gonna bring this into my center. If he's bigger than me, I'm gonna keep this out away from me. Right. I'm gonna watch what he's doing. Same size or about, get in there, bring it into your center. Make his arm yours. Right. Bigger than you, keep it out away from you. Keep an eye on that attacker the whole time. I come in, I can come on top of that elbow. Right. I can bring his elbow up, make it even harder for him. Because now that pain's going straight into his wrist. Right? All I'm doing is grabbing that elbow. They have a shirt on, grab it, bring it straight up. Bring him up to his tippy toes. Right? You can follow through. More practical application, if he's bigger than you, I can come in right to the back of that leg, get a strike, and you just take a back fall. Right? Follow through and drop the attacker down. Bigger guys. You want to bring them up on their toes. Take their balance, right? And you got a kick right there. You don't have to kick them hard. Get them up on their toes, right on the back of the knee. You know, they're going to come tumbling down. So, pretty effective with that one. Right? So, going straight through, he grabs, getting out of the way. Right? There's that punch there. Coming straight through. Almost like Shihonage. Get that Yubi door. Right there, and I can take that into a Sankyo. <clears throat> right. So if the attacker just comes up and grabs, they want you to be compliant. They're sitting there running their mouth, not yet. Right? They're sitting there running their mouth at you. You have that opportunity, right? I wouldn't want to stay here. I want to move straight in. Break that plane, right? Come in right with that elbow. I mean, I don't have to get a Sankyo. I can come in here and throw him right over my hip. Then I can take that into a pin. I can bring this across here and use my leg, right? Get that UB Dory, take those fingers back and press on that elbow even more. So you don't have to do Sankyo. Get control of the situation and stop the attack. Keep it from progressing, right? So again, he comes in, just grabbing me, he's running his mouth, getting out of that way, right? Getting my hands up. So coming in here, getting out of that way. Get that elbow. You can grab him, get a UB Dory right there, bring him up on his toes. You can step through, you already got him right in the jaw, you can step straight through, watch that arm, and throw. And you stay on top. So, just some more of the practical applications of what Sankyo can lead into uh, getting control of the situation. Right? <clears throat> Love, peace, and harmony go out the door. When, when somebody's trying to jack your face up, take your money. I don't know about you, but I, I gotta work for what I have. I'm pretty sure most of you do. I'm not just gonna let somebody take that away. That's all we got, guys. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe.
Um, love the comments. Keep them coming, guys. We really appreciate it. A lot of good feedback. Hit us up here on YouTube, the Iwama Warriors. Hit us up on Facebook, Aikido of Virginia Beach. All right, again, like, share, subscribe. All right, drop us a comment. We'll catch you guys later.